hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in it's your girl beloved and i'm back with a new recipe for the channel guys your girl hasn't been feeling well for some time now so please bear with me on the voice i'm using today beloved catering service is a business where we make cakes meat pies ring donuts samosa spring rolls and all kinds of food drinks and fruit juices especially so bolo we also make jollof rice and fried rice for all events and occasions. You can contact us with the information provided on the screen. Today's recipe is centered on the making of banku and grilled tilapia. Our ingredients for today's recipe are green habanero pepper, corn dough, cassava dough, red onions, frozen fresh tomatoes, kosher salt, vegetable oil, and my special tilapia seasoning powder and some ginger let's get started with preparing of the banku pour the cassava dough into a bowl and add some water to it now mix the cassava dough and the water together then pour half of the cassava dough mixture into the colander on top of the cooking pot and use the wooden masher to grind the dough so that it seeps through the holes into the cooking pot underneath the colander. Pour in the other half of the cassava dough mixture onto the one already in the colander and then use the wooden masher to grind the dough mixture into the colander until it's almost finished. Now use some water to wash the bowl used to make the cassava dough mixture and pour it into the colander. Then use the wooden masher to grind it until all is finished in the colander. Collect the chaff from the cassava dough and put it in the trash can. This is our strained cassava dough mixture, so let's proceed to the adding of the corn dough. Add in the salt and now mix the corn dough into the cassava dough mixture to form the banku dough or mixture. Set your cooking pot on your source of heat and then with the aid of the banku spatula or wooden spatula, stir the banku mixture. You would notice that as you stir the banku mixture, it's getting stiff. This means that you need to apply a little bit of effort to stir it together to avoid it having lumps in it. When the dough becomes too stiff and unable to move around in the cooking pot, pour in some water and turn the halfway cooked banku upside down so that the cooked part is moved upwards and the uncooked part is moved downwards to cook as well. Then use a knife to clean the uncooked banku off the wooden spatula in the cooking pot to get cooked as well. After 10 minutes, Check on the banku and stir it again. The banku is a bit too stiff for me, so I added in some water and turned it upside down once again. Then I used the knife to clean the banku off the wooden ladle into the cooking pot to get cooked too. After 5 minutes, check on the banku and stir it together again. The banku is as perfect as I want it to be. Tear some white rubber, which we call banku rubber here in Ghana. That will be used to wrap the banku nice and tight. Then put the rubber into the banku scooping bowl and scoop some of the banku into it. That is a bit smaller than the rubber size so that the wrapping will be very easy. To wrap the banku, fold the tips of the white rubber together and then twist it as the banku gets wrapped beautifully. Put another rubber in the banku scooping bowl and scoop some of the banku again. Then fold the tips of the banku rubber and twist it as the banku gets wrapped like so. Put some of the rubber into the banku scooping bowl and scoop some of the banku into the rubber in the bowl again and wrap it nicely until the banku is finished in the cooking pot. It's time to grow the tilapia. Wash the green pepper and put it in the earthen roll bowl. 
then peel, cut and wash the ginger and add it to it. Then use the wooden masher to grind the pepper and ginger together into a fine paste. Here I added one and a half tablespoon of my special tilapia seasoning powder and I grinded it together with the pepper and ginger. Then I added the kosher salt which is one tablespoon. I had the tilapia in the freezer so I removed them and put them in a bowl of water. With the help of a knife, I descaled both of the tilapia. I added some water to wash the tilapia of the scale story. Then I washed all the corners of the tilapia, including the opened sides, under the gills, and the mouth of the tilapia. Then use the knife to mark and cut slightly deep lines into the skin and flesh of the tilapia so that the seasoning gets into all the parts of the tilapia for a juicy and delicious taste. After that, use your hands to put the seasoning paste under the gills, in the open sides, in the mouth and then all around the tilapia. This is the tilapia which is well coated with the seasoning paste. Let it sit for 10 minutes and then proceed to its grilling. Don't forget to add 2 tablespoons of oil into the seasoned tilapia. This is your best bet for a well grilled meat or fish. Now light the cool pot once again and put the metallic closeable grill net on it. Then put the tilapia on the grill net and then close it with the other part of the net then allow it to grill on the side for about 20 minutes this is a very time consuming method of cooking fish but it's worth it at the end of the day let's grind the pepper that we'll be using to eat the banku wash the green pepper and put it in the same methane well bowl then peel wash and cut the ginger and add it to it now grind them together Peel, wash and chop some red onions and then add it into the earthenware bowl and grind it for a few minutes. Now add in the frozen tomatoes and grind it into the pepper. Flip the tilapia net on the other side and use an oil brush to brush the rest of the oil, pepper, ginger and seasoning powder mixed paste onto the tilapia and allow it to grow for 20 minutes. Now slice some of the red onions onto the pepper that was grinded earlier and set it aside. Flip the tilapia once again. Brush the rest of the oil, pepper, ginger and seasoning powder mixed paste onto the tilapia. Then let it grow for an additional 10 minutes. The grilled tilapia is ready. It's time to serve the banku and the tilapia. Serve the banku on a plate with the tilapia and grinded pepper sauce side by side. And enjoy! We will end the video right here. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this if this is your first time of watching my video. And then turn on your post and notification icon so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. And I want to say a big thank you to my subscribers for holding it down for me till now. Until we meet again guys.